this topic is a rather simple one, but it shows a pretty neat idea or neat property of these, this thing called I. So let's recall the definition of what this I is again. I is called the imaginary unit, and it's simply by definition the square root of negative 1. It's, it was created to allow us to do math when we take square roots of negative numbers, because if you had, you know, square root of negative 6, you just pull out that negative with an I, and then you can use right, uh, square root of 6 as normal. Right. Well, something interesting happens when you uh, put exponents on I. Because typically, when we think of exponents, we think of something that makes things bigger. For example, let's take 2, for example. 2 to the 1 is 2, 2 squared is 4, 2 cubed is 8, 2 to the 4th is 16, 2 to the 5 is 32. It keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. That's sort of what we expect to happen. Not so with eyes, though. So let's take a look at what's going on here. Actually, I want to start with i to the 0 power. And we should know that anything to the 0 power, by definition, is going to be 1 i to the first power, we should know that anything to the first power is itself, so that's i. What about i squared? So I'm going to do some scratch work here. Well, we have already know that i squared should be negative 1, but let's prove it. If i is square root of negative 1, then i squared should be the square root of negative 1 squared. And of course, the square and the square root will cancel, giving us a negative 1. What about i cubed? Let's go to our scratch work again. So we're going to be a little bit clever here. i cubed. Well, we should know that i cubed is just i squared times i. That's just, you know, what the definition of cubing is. A squared times a, a, times a single. Well, we know that i squared is negative 1. So negative 1 times i is just negative i. What about i to the fourth power? I'm running out of room, so I'll just write it here. i to the fourth power. Well, let's go back to the scratch work. i to the fourth, how can I be clever about this? Well, we know that's i squared times i squared. Multiply something twice, multiply something twice again. That's, a sum, that's the same thing as multiplying it four times, which is i to the fourth power. Well, we said that i squared was negative one, so negative one times negative one is a positive one. So this is a 1 here. What about i to the 5th power? i to the 5th power, let's go back to our scratch work. Let's be clever again. I'm going to sort of cheat. It's not very clever. i to the 5th is just i to the 4th times i. And we've already said i to the 4th was 1. So this is i again. What about i to the 6th power? Well i to the 6th power, it's just i to the 4th times i squared, right? And we've already said i to the 4th is 1, i squared is negative 1, which gives us a negative 1. I think you guys, I hope, you pick up the pattern. I don't have to do any scratch work, I can tell you that i to the 7th is negative i. I don't need to do scratch work, I'll tell you i to the 8th is 1, i to the 9th is i, i to the 10th is negative 1 i to the 11th is negative i, so on and so forth. So we can see here that unlike any other number that's not 0 or 1, the powers of i don't keep growing. They actually just repeat itself every four cycles. There are only four powers of i. And that's a pretty cool idea. Now. We can use this to our advantage if I wanted to simplify an exponent of i. Say, for example, what's i to the 13th power? Well, we've already gone up to 11, so let's just continue going. i to the 12th, i to the 13th, that should be a simple i. So I would say i to the 13th is just a simple i. But I can't just go by list form. What if I wanted to do uh, i to the 3,927th power? I don't want to write a list for those many powers. Well, this is the idea. Since I know that these exponents here of i's repeat every 4, 
we just got to get rid of the duplicates. We got to get rid of groups of four. And to get to find the groups of four, that's a division problem. What we're going to do is old school long division using four. So let's go ahead and divide. Four doesn't go into three, so let's think of 39. Four goes into 39 nine times, that's a 36, and then we subtract. Three, bring down the two. Four goes into 32 eight times. Subtract zero, seven. Four goes into seven one time with the remainder of three. Now, uh, we're not gonna do zero and decimal, actually. Uh, what we're looking for is the remainder. So remainder of three, that's what we want. So what does this work say? This says in 3,927 exponents of i, they repeat themselves 981 times, which means all of those repeats, all of those duplicates we can throw away. All I really care about are the unique leftovers, which is in this case a remainder of three. So all of this work says i to the 3,927 is the same thing as i cubed. And we should know from the list that i cubed is negative i. That is the answer here. So that's how you evaluate powers of i. To evaluate powers of i, divide the exponent by 4 and keep the remainder. So, do you need to memorize this entire list? No, but you definitely need to memorize the first column. So I'm actually add it to the list here. So to evaluate powers of i, divide the exponent by four and keep the remainder. And you must know i to the zero is one, i to the one is i, i squared is negative one, i cubed is negative i. This is important. You cannot do this if you don't know this list. But once you do know this list, evaluating powers of i should take, oh, 10 seconds. Let's prove it. Let's do one last example. I'm going to make this number up on the spot. Evaluate i, and I'm just coming up with random numbers. 2, 7, 1, 3, 5. Just making it up. Well, the first thing I want to do as scratch work is do good old-fashioned long division with 4. So 4 goes into 27, what's that, 7 times? No, 6 times. 24, subtract, that's a 3, 1. 4 goes into 31, 7 times. 4 goes into 33, 8 times. 4 goes into 15, 3 times. So I have a remainder of 3. So all of this work tells me that i to the 27,135 is the same thing as i cubed. That's all that long division tells me. And me memorizing this list here knows that i cubed is negative i. So easy peasy. The powers of i, they keep cycling over and over and over.